I haven't posted a lot on Instagram in the last few days because I've had a crazy week. Um, I got really run down and I was on the verge of getting sick and I wasn't feeling well. Um, I had a particularly rough period, the cycle, and then I had to go and rescue my sister almost in Maryland and I live in Charlotte because uh, her car broke down driving down here. And so all of that put together has made me sick. Um, I have a sore throat. I haven't been sick in over a year, um, so this is really annoying, but it's partially my fault because in the craziness of this week, I didn't do all the things that I would normally do to take care of myself, so here I am. So we get back on track, right? So what do we do? I like to eat in a style that has no name, meaning it's technically intuitive eating, but it's a little bit different because I eat towards goals. And when people say that, they usually mean goals towards a certain size or bulking up or muscle gains or things like that. There is a certain portion of that too, yes, but for me, I eat towards how my body is feeling. Meaning, when I need more nutrients because I feel run down, I need to eat a certain way. When I feel like something else is happening in my body, I eat to address that. So, I don't have an eating style. I'm not vegan. I'm not vegetarian. However, there are times in my life when I do go vegan. There are times in my life when I do go vegetarian. I spend actually a pretty decent amount of time being vegan, so, but I don't really need the title. <laughs> I'm good. Like, if I'm right before my cycle mm -hmm. and I feel like I'm getting, starting to get a little bit anemic, I will have a burger and I have no shame in my game whatsoever. I'm not here to shame people and how they eat or make them feel a certain way because they eat in a certain style. That's ridiculous. So... I eat in this way of addressing my body or fortifying my body. So right now what I'm doing with this video is it's going to show how to make a really strong um, anti-inflammatory immune boosting juice, which I'll be drinking for the rest of the day um, until my sore throat clears up. Um, full disclosure, before I started this I had uh, a drink of apple cider vinegar, water, and oil of oregano that is highly immune boosting too. Um, I don't like to put oil of oregano into my juices because I have to put a lot. Oil of oregano is very expensive um, for the amount that you'd have to use to make a big batch. And also, anybody who's taken it, it has a very particular taste that, you know, could ruin a juice. Like, it's going to be hard to suck that down. Um, so, what do I have here? I have a cucumber, which is slightly mangled because it had a little tiny piece of mold growing in it and I cut it out. I have three big pieces of ginger, so this is going to be very spicy. I have a jalapeno from my garden, a baby, not a big one. <laughs> I have um, turmeric, and once this runs out, I'm going to go get turmeric root and grind it myself. I just have that from before. I have a whole bag of kale that I had frozen. I'm going to use this. I have a half a bag of pineapple that I froze, and then I have a fresh pineapple that I cut up too. That will also help to manage the spicy taste. I have frozen carrots. All of this stuff is organic, by the way. Um, I have raw honey, and then I have Vita Cocoa. I'm going to be using two of those coconut water. And then you use probably about um, a little bit of extra water to balance it out too. So that's what I'm going to be doing. Um, I'm sure you can hear the congestion in my voice. Oh, and celery, sorry. Um, I don't normally add celery to this juice, but I've been feeling like I need the support, the circulatory and blood pressure support of celery. Celery juice is very powerful for health, um, and by itself it tastes kind of gross. <laughs> uh, but we can mix it into things and make it taste better. So I've got some celery here um, that I'm going to be adding. I'm just going to chop this up. I mean, you can, you can throw the stalks. I'm using a ninja blender, so you can throw the whole stalks in there if you so choose to. I like to cut it up just so that it grinds up better. Um, that's just my personal preference. But you do need, if you're going to be doing celery juice, you do need like a good high quality blender. Like You can't mess around so much. Um, you definitely need something high quality. I am a ninja girl. Some people use Vitamixes. That's perfectly fine. Like, I don't care. <laughs> I use what I use, but you can use what you use. Okay, so that's that. So now I'll grab the blender. I'm trying to go 
through the process of just adding ingredients. I don't really have an order to adding. Oh, that fell off. I don't have an order to adding my ingredients. Um, there are certain juices or smoothie recipes where that does matter because of how it grinds. Um, but in this recipe, it doesn't matter so much. So I don't really care. The celery is cut first. So I'll add the celery. Um, I'm just going to chop up my ginger a little bit more finely and then add that on top. So there you go. You've got celery in there. So now this is the ginger. So just cut it up into little pieces. Nothing fancy. It's just, again, to help it grind better. Slice it up real quick. Boom, boom, boom. I can't wait to drink this. I'm so stuffy and like my stomach's bothering me and like So I guess we should talk about why these ingredients are important I talked a little bit about celery Powerful um, for immunity for blood circulation blood pressure, etc. Right great awesome Ginger highly anti-inflammatory immune boosting and great for digestion um, and like I said, I'm having a little bit of a stomach issue in this sickness. So I love ginger. Like I put ginger in everything because I'm a psycho. So yeah. Cucumber, hydrating. Very important. Um, you want to get as much good oxygenated blood to your tissues as you're healing. And that comes from good hydration. So that's where cucumber comes into play. Cucumber is also an anti-inflammatory. Um, and it's, uh, oh my god, I can't even remember the other word I was going to say. If I remember, I will bring it back. But anyway, cucumber is good for you. So whatever. All right? So I've added the cucumber. I'm going to add my pepper. So my pepper, I'm going to kind of just take the seeds out where I can. You know the seeds make it even hotter, right? Now... That's not to say that I don't want it to be hot, it's going to be hot anyway, but the seeds add a whole new element that maybe you don't want. So I take the seeds out. I mean, if you get one seed in there, it's really not a big deal, but this is just how I do it. Again, if you do it differently, that's fine. Okay, so go ahead and just cut this up. Um, pepper jalapeno, black pepper, chili peppers, all these different types of peppers. They're, one of their key components is a component called capsaicin. Capsaicin is amazing. Um, capsaicin is used, it's isolated and used for pain relief, so like icy hot and things like that, they have capsaicin in it. So obviously it's great um, as a anti-inflammatory, topical anti-inflammatory, but it's also a great internal anti-inflammatory too. I'm cutting off this little ugly little thing right here. Um, Okay, that's done. And then, what was I going to say? Um, it also, what's great about pepper in general, specifically black pepper, but I do know that other peppers also have this power, they boost the absorption of a lot of things. So, for example, we're going to be adding turmeric to this. It boosts the absorption of the active ingredient of turmeric, which is the curcumin, which I will get to. We are not there yet. Okay. Next, I'm adding pineapple. Pineapple will give you good um, vitamin nutrients, vitamin C, other vitamins. Um, people have made this with oranges. People have made this with lemons, with limes. You can do that too. I like pineapple because I like pineapple. Um, and it is healthy. But I also like it because it balances out um, the flavor too. And I didn't realize these chunks were so big. So let's kind of drop those down a little bit because I have a lot more to add. Now, I tend to overfill my blender, meaning I add as much of my ingredients as I can, and then I add extras. I blend it down a little bit, and then I add extras. So you'll see me do that. Um, carrots, beta carotene, vitamin A, vitamin blah, blah, blah. There's lots of vitamins in carrots. I'm sick. Cut me some slack. Anyway, and also you can look all this stuff up. Like, I know it. <laughs> I'm just tired and sick. Um, but yes, carrots are highly healthy. So, okay. So we're getting close to what can be filled 
in this blender right now for the first blend down. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add one whole thing of Vita Cocoa, um, just as a liquid base to blend this down and then we'll add the rest of the pineapple and the kale and the other ingredients and then we should be good to go. I warn you, this is gonna be very loud. Ninjas are like jets taking off. Um, they're very powerful. So I hope that one day in the future they'll be able to have that same power and be completely silent. I would be like a brave new world. All right, get ready, this is going on. Okay. So what was that? Like, I don't know, 15 seconds maybe? I don't know. Anyway, the point is, is that it blended, oh god, this thing keeps falling off it blended it down enough where there's more space. That's what we want, obviously. So I've got um, some cut up pineapple over here on the side. This is my fresh pineapple that I talked about in the beginning. I'm just gonna add that. Um, I had pre-cut it. Cause like, I don't really think that anybody wants to see me like just cutting up like fruits and vegetables. Like, that seems boring. So I try to prep everything beforehand so it's fast. Um, the prep time doesn't take that long, really. I've been doing this for so long that, like, it doesn't take that long to prep. I think the thing that takes the longest is, like, chopping up certain things, like celery. Because usually when I buy, I overbuy my veggies and my fruits, and then I freeze the extra. So, like, my prep also includes chopping up for the next go-around. So it's a little bit longer than it would be if I was just making it to the recipe. But, you know, that's how we do, right? All right. So give me one second. I'm just going to rinse my fingers off from the kale. So I buy organic kale from the supermarket or... I get organic kale from the farmer's market and I just buy like a huge bunch of it and soak it and dry it and put it in the freezer. Either or is fine. Okay, so now we have the second thing of Vita Coco. I'm gonna add as much of it as I can. Um, again, this is gonna be a blend down situation. So add as much as you can. I'm gonna go to max fill, which is 72 ounces. Um, and again, coconut water is highly hydrating. It has a lot of uh, nutrients and uh, excuse me antioxidants in it do we need that okay what I'm doing right now is I'm digging for a measuring spoon for my turmeric so I usually do about a half a tablespoon um, when I'm making this but I am sick so usually when I make this I'm making this preventatively right but now I'm like doubling down on everything because I'm dying so instead of it being half I'm gonna go for a full tablespoon and yes I probably should have just taken out the full tablespoon measure measure thing but I didn't because my brain isn't working today anyway none of this is exact measurements like you're not gonna die if you put more or less so don't worry about that it's just that's just you know what I came up with when I was making this also for like best flavor because Yes, I can drink really gross things, especially when I'm sick for the relief, but like if you can, if it can be delicious at the same time, then you're more likely to keep doing it, right? Okay, I'm adding raw honey. This type of raw honey, it needs to look like butter, not the runny raw honey or regular honey. This is the real deal, this is what you want. This is also very, very sweet, so you don't need a lot in general, like if you're going to eat it, just add a spoon it out or whatever. Um, I don't have much left because my husband's been taking it for the last four days to help his throat with his sickness. He got me sick, by the way. <laughs> um, okay, so this is like a regular size, I guess, tablespoon, like table tablespoon, not a measure tablespoon. Um, I don't measure for this, really. I just kind of go with what I want. I'm actually going to put two heaping spoonfuls of this. As you can see, it's very solid, so you kind of have to like push it out. Like it's not runny like the other kind. 
so you got to kind of take charge of it but I'm telling you this is the real deal raw honey is so helpful for immunity uh, both mechanically and chemically so what does that mean so for example sore throat which I'm going to be doing after I get off of this video Honey, as many singers know, is very effective at soothing your throat. Um, and it soothes because it coats the throat. But in its coating of the throat, because it is so thick and the viscosity is so low, it literally smothers any bacteria that's in your throat and bursts those cells open because the cells cannot take in any water because it's coated with the honey. That's the mechanical function. The chemical function is that in raw honey, um, there are lots of nutrients, antioxidants, things that came from the flower and the processing of the bees to make the honey, which is really awesome. So those are absorb while your honey is coating this area, those nutrients are absorbing into the area as well and helping to boost immune cells, give them what they need, and they're coming in there to attack. So that's awesome, right? All right. So are we straight now? We're at 72 ounces. I've added everything. I'm just looking around to make sure that I'm not like forgetting some major thing because judging from how I feel, that's entirely possible. So you go ahead and I see what happened. My little thing on here, like the little thing broke. That's why it keeps falling out. That's fine. Okay. This is going to be loud. Prepare yourself. Ooh. Because this has to blend for a little bit, I'm going to cut the video here and I'm going to post the result on the Insta story, but I'm going to tell you what I'm going to do. So I don't know if you can see, but let's see if we can bring this closer so you can see. Okay. This is very thick, right? So in blending it down, I'm hoping that I can get a little bit more liquid in there to make it kind of more smooth and juice like, right? What I do is I take the individual serving cups, which let me grab one and I'll show you. Let me grab one. Okay. Oops. All right. So once I get this mixed down, I take one of these and I blend it again. This helps to really smooth it out, um, especially when it's so thick. Remember, it's packed with tons of really awesome stuff, but also stuff that's really fibrous, pineapple, celery, you know, so this uh, kale, this stuff has a lot of fiber in it, plant fiber. And so it thickens up with the liquid. So that's what we're going to do. Um, before I go, uh, I want to just go over the ingredients again. So we had celery. We had kale. We had pineapple. We had ginger. We had cucumber. We had raw honey. We had turmeric. We had... Uh, by the cuckoo coconut water um did i forget anything ah, i put a jalapeno in there from my garden um and that's it so that's what you need to make this trust me it tastes very good it's going to be bright so it's going to hit you it's going to be very spicy but it's something that you can sip obviously you want it to be as cold as possible if you need to add ice before you drink it go for it and you know you sip on this all day it also will help you to digest better just chill with it drink this Focus on just getting this down. I don't even know if my stomach can handle any more food. I'm starting to feel a little bit hungry finally, but again, it's almost one o'clock and I've been up for a while. When I woke up, I was nauseous. So I'm, I'm gonna stick with this. The ginger will help you digest. It will help your stomach to not feel so gross. Um, and I'm hoping that this will be enough to knock it out. It should be, but my husband's in a bit in bad shape. So he needs help too. Like he's going to get a prescription for antibiotics right now because he has an ear infection. Um, when you get an ear infection, I, as a holistic as I am, I grew up with chronic ear infections and I actually had to have surgery. So for me, when an ear infection reaches a certain point, you must use antibiotics. Otherwise, the infection is going to get bad. It's going to spread. I don't like that. I'm a scientist first. I know what works. But I don't believe in running to antibiotics for every single problem. So for me, I have a little bit of pressure in my ear. If I can knock this out, that's the plan. 
The one thing I would say that's missing from this that I would love to have but I don't have right now is Camu Camu power, powder. Camu Camu has like 500 times the vitamin C of an orange. And as we all have heard, vitamin C is great for colds. So I wish I had that. Um, there is a place I can go to get it if I really feel that I need it. If this is not enough, I'll make sure to pick that up. But this should do me. Thank you for watching. Um, thank you for doing this with me. If you have any questions, of course, DM me. Let me know. Um, and I hope that you enjoyed it. I know it's kind of like rough and tumble. But I was like, okay, I'm sick and I feel like shit. I want to help somebody else. You never know. Someone else. I heard a lot of people getting sick after Harvey and all these winds that came in from the hurricanes. So, you know, if this can help you and you're not downing all this medicine that's suppressing your immune system or making you sick, then we've won. Until next time, when I will sound healthy again, um, enjoy your day and thank you so much for watching.